everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really sorry for not posting in a while. I've been really busy and I haven't had a lot of ideas on what I should do. So, yeah. Today we're going to be doing like five or ten things to do when you're bored. So, yeah, let's get started. Wait, you thought you'd get started without hitting the subscribe button? Bro, are you, are you, are you dumb? Uh, go hit the subscribe button right now, right now. Let's get started. So, I have, I have, um, the first thing you could do is draw. Draw is a really fun thing to do. Not always, I don't always feel like I want to draw, but like sometimes I do. So if you want to draw right now, or if you even feel a tiny bit of feeling like drawing, do it. Just do it. There's nothing wrong with drawing. Drawing makes you feel happier, actually. It improves your art move, art drawing because you want to you know impress your friends and um yeah it really makes you happier a lot so i mean it, i find it makes me happier sometimes like when i'm sad or i get in trouble then i just like to draw and it really helps so yeah that is one thing that you could do when you are bored Okay, so the second thing that you could do while you're bored is work out or do stretches because it really helps your like flexibility, it gets you more fit, and maybe in one of the videos I'll make you, um, I'll uh, do a stretching video, but I also have another whole account about it. It is called Sophie M and Kate, I think. It's Sophie.M. and Kate. Um, because me and my sister make the videos. I only made two videos because I only started that in that channel like about a month ago. And yeah, you guys should go check it out right now. Because if you guys want to th work out. Um, also when, when, you know when we got in pandemic, um, in March, we went to my cottage for basically the whole year. Um, and sometimes I was bored after school, so... When I, after online school, so normally every day I would do two hours or three hours of workout and stretch. And that really helped my flexibility and my fitness. And my, like, you know. So yeah, it also really makes you happy and fit and flexible. So yeah, you should go try doing that. The third thing you could do is go outside. Go outside. Going outside actually is really, really, a really, really good thing. Because it helps your like immunity and mindfulness and stuff. I don't know. It gives you fresh air. I know fresh air is really annoying sometimes, especially for me, because I'm a lazy person. So yeah, um, I'm a lazy person and I don't like to go outside, but sometimes I have to force myself. Yeah. So yeah, go outside. Go outside right now. Another thing you could do is torture your cat or your pet unless it's a fish because i don't think you can touch a fish okay so you gotta play with your pet play with your pet is really fun but try not to torture it because it is not a something it's a someone it's so cute it's so tiny you should play with it you should give it your nail so you could bite your nail you could give it some toys you could run around, play tag, something like that. It is really fun and it makes you get less stress or depression or something. Yeah, you should go play with your pet. Another thing you could do is read. Reading is actually really annoying for me. Like, I hate to read. Apparently, I really hate reading. Um... And I only read if I'm like really bored or if my parents take my phone away for like a week, I have to read. Um, and yeah, you should go read. Reading is actually pretty annoying, but like, you want to read sometimes. It helps your vocabulary or something. Yeah. Another thing you could do when you're bored is make a YouTube video or a TikTok video or an Instagram photo. Or a FaceTime photo. Because it is really fun, apparently. Yeah, you should go do that. Okay, so another thing you could do is like watch TV, watch TikToks, 
or play video games. All types of electronics. To me, using electronics is really fun, but my mom only lets me have 45 minutes of video games every week, which is not a lot, on Saturday. So, yeah, if you want to go find me on Roblox, it's Hilka9246. Okay, so, um, um, yeah, playing video games and watching TikToks and stuff like that is really fun. Because, yeah, it's really fun to be honest. Uh, it helps you be happy and it helps your, like, hand stuff. I don't know. And the last thing that you could do is write in your diary or write something about your feelings. Because you really gotta talk about your feelings sometimes. Yeah, you really gotta talk about your feelings sometimes. I know you might not want to talk to, to, to tell to actual people, but I'm pretty sure you would be comfortable to write it to a notebook because a notebook doesn't read. So you should write it in a notebook. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go get my my notebook, which I write in. So this is the notebook I write in when I'm like sad or something, because it has like an inspirational message on the front. And yeah, it's really nice. I like it. So yeah, those are the things you could do. Um, I just want to show you one more thing. So like my grandparents got me this new selfie stick because I lost my old one. To be honest, I kind of like it, but like it's really short. Like. This is how tall it is. It's really short. Um, but it looks really good. Like it has a design over here. You might you might not see it. It's really nice. There's this thing, which I also really like. And I'm starting. I might start making videos of it. So yeah, everybody, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell, and comment an idea, video idea. So yeah, um, bye people.